Hello everyone. I'm Professor Son. Today I'd like to talk about how to prepare osteoinductive tooth block bone from patient's extracted teeth. Bone graft plays an important role in ridge augmentation. Various bone grafts have been widely used for ridge and sinus augmentation for several decades. The use of autogenous bone is preferred because it has osteoinductivity and osteoconductivity. But the use of autogenous bone is limited because it has disadvantages such as the morbidity of a second surgical site and prolonged surgical time. Extracted teeth have been thrown away as a biological waste for a long time. However, many researchers have introduced an extracted tooth as a novel osteoinductive bone graft because dentin is known to release diverse growth factors after demineralization. After Proper decalcification of dentin, diverse osteoinductive proteins are released in peritubular dentin and inside often dentinal tubers. I made four critical bony defects on animals' calvaria to evaluate bone deformation between uh, decalcified dentin and undecalcified dentin. After four week healing, 50% decalcified dentin showed the highest newborn formation compared to other groups. After eight week healing, 50% decalcified tooth bone showed the highest newborn formation than any other group. The calcified dentin reveals a significantly higher newborn formation compared to undecalcified dentin and 80% decalcified dentin in this study. This is a comparative histomorphometric evaluation of bone regeneration with a different preparation of genogenic tooth block bone. Four different types of dentinal blocks were grafted on the exposed calvaria. Group 1 is decalcified and perforated dentin. Group 2 is decalcified dentin. Group 3 is perforated dentin without decalcification. Group 4 is untreated dentin. This study revealed the highest and the fastest bone deformation in microperforated and demineralized dentin compared to any other groups. Active bone deformation on whole surface of microperforated and demineralized dentinal blocks in this study. There are three benefits of demineralized my tooth bone graft. Firstly, patient benefits. Secondly, clinical benefits. Thirdly, practical benefits. From patient's point of view, tooth bone has no risk of cross-contamination, unlike animal human origin bone. From clinician's point of view, tooth block bone simplifies three-dimensional ridge augmentation. And the surgical time is uh, greatly shortened because tooth block bone is prepared before surgery by chair side. And uh, patient's post-operative discomfort is also reduced because the donor site is not required. The final Benefits of tooth bone is a practical benefit. You don't need to pay for a bone substitute, but you can charge it for the preparation of tooth bone. 
before I'm going to talk about how to prepare tooth block bone I like to share a case using tooth block bone this young female patient lost her four of her incisors and labial bone due to traffic accident Three dental implants were placed at the same time and solid horizontal leech augmentation using two pieces of the calcified tooth block was done. Sticky particulate tooth bone graft was also grafted on the residual defect. One point fixation using a micro screw is enough to stabilize each tooth block bone. Four CGF membranes were placed over the bone graft to accelerate wound healing. The first operative interoral view shows you excellent horizontal ridge augmentation. All tooth block bones showed excellent consolidation on the defect after three weeks healing. This slide shows you advantages of the calcified auto tooth bone graft. First, there is no risk of cross contamination unlike uh, allogenic or, or bovine bone. Second, thanks to its uh, osteoinductivity, bone regeneration is uh, fast than any other bone substitute. Tooth bone has a similar components as a human bone. The calcified tooth block is malleable, easy to handle, and provides substantial stable volume. And we don't need to harvest autogenous block bone. Therefore, we can reduce surgical morbidity for our patient. The clinician is able to prepare graft material at chair side, hence we can reduce surgical time. And surgical cost is also decreased. Okay, now let me tell you how to prepare demineralized osteoinductive tooth block. First, all soft tissue, calculus, carriers, and old restorations attached to an extracted tooth should be removed using a high-speed handpiece and a carbide bar. And trim sharp apical and sharp cusp in crown using a disc. The tooth is cut in the long axis direction using a disc. Copious coolant should be supplied while preparing tooth with burr in order to prevent the naturation of proteins in dentin caused by heat generation. Remove the enamel in tooth. The dentin in crown is exposed and uniformly thick tooth block bone is formed through this process. Perforate the tooth with a small round carbide bar. 1 mm diameter macro pores are formed at interval of 2 to 3 mm apart. These macropores allow better contact to the agent. Macropores promote flood infiltration and bone degeneration in the tooth block bone after implantation. This is a vacuum sonning machine to make the mineralize the tooth bone graft at chair side. Normally, it takes a few days 
to demineralize teeth at atmospheric pressure. Periodic negative pressure and ultrasonic vibration allows the penetration of the cavitation energy and reagent into dentinal tubers. Therefore, Becquiasonic machine utilizing ultrasonic vibration and vacuum compression shorten all procedures to prepare the mineralized tooth bone. It enables grafting of tooth bone graft on the same day of extraction. We can prepare four types of tooth bone graft using Becchiasonic machine. This is the reagent kit which is used to make tooth block and ring bone. You can treat four incisors or two molars at once with this kit. Tube number one is sterilization reagent. Tube number two is demineralization reagent. Tubes number three and four are washing reagent. A prepared tooth is placed in tube number one for sterilization in Becchiasonic and seal the tube with a sterile bioreactor cap with a micro filter which allows vacuum compression inside the tube. Before placing tube number one in Becchiasonic, the tank is filled with water to mark the line in order to transmit ultrasonic vibration to tooth block. Select S mode and run it for 10 minutes to sterilize the prepared tooth. After the completion of S mode, drain the the mineralization reagent into the empty tube. Put the demineralization reagent in tube number two into tube number one. Or use a sterile twist to transfer the sterilized tooth black bone into tube number two for demineralization. After sealing the tube with a new sterile bioreactor cap, place it in Becasonic. Select the T mode and run it for 30 minutes for tooth demineralization. After tooth demineralization, drain the demineralization reagent into the, the other empty tube. Place uh, the washing reagent in tooth number 3 into tube uh, number 1. Seal the tube with a new sterile bioreactor cap. Do not contaminate the interior of a bioreactor cap in order to ensure sterile condition. After placing the tube in Becchiasonic, select W2 mode for final washing the prepared tooth. After 10 minute learning of a second washing mode, drain the washing reagent into the, the other empty tube. After sealing the tube with a new sterile bioreactor cap, Put the patient's name tag on it. The demineralized tooth bone should be used immediately on the surgical day or keep it in the refrigerator for the future use. Tooth becomes malleable and flexible bone graft after proper demineralization process.